With just under a year at the and helm of the embattled power the utility, utility, the new ESCOM board now has to answer to some claims of wrongdoing at the power utility. The claims have been fueled by speculations that the former CEO Andre de Reiter was fired by the board for exposing corruption in a session that has been dismissed by members of the board before SCOPA. What Mr. de Reiter told us, he only said that he's busy with an investigation. There was nothing in what he said that would have given us an indication that it was an intelligence operation and, as I said earlier on, the full scope of what he was busy with. So, under normal circumstances, given the context um, of, the, of the, the entity, and I can say for perhaps from my background, I used to be the CEO of the Institute of Internal Auditors, when you hear the word investigation, you have a particular idea of what it is. Um, there was not enough information given to us for us at that point in time to interrogate further. At the center of the claims is an independent intelligence report that the board has also told members of parliament that they too have not seen, something that members of parliament find hard to believe. The MPs were also told that half of ESCOM's executives have no security clearance, an issue that left lawmakers worried. Of five executives that have top secret and secret clearance, uh, these include myself, Caleb Kassam, uh, uh, top, top secret, Sekamotsu Skiapas, head of transmission, top secret, Alsi Pule, our group is HR, top secret, and Karen Pule, uh, security, top secret, secret clearance, Andrew Etzinger, who is our general manager of Africa Strategy. In terms of in, in progress and uh, uh, submissions for, for, for vetting, there are four submissions in progress. Former Chief Operations Officer Jan Obelhoza was scheduled to appear before MPs but was a no-show. Obelhoza was recently asked to stay on for two years to oversee Kusile and Kuberg power stations as a project manager. People have been uh, vetted. Yes. Does he appear to that list? Because he, if he left, he left with the cloud. Uh, no, on this list, uh, I don't think he's been vetted. He didn't complete his vetting. That's my understanding. And they are still keeping him. Okay, uh, that was uh, a decision as uh, the acting CEO where I applied my mind. I thought it's important that. Uh, we do retain that uh, resources and, and that skill for ESCO. Laid bare was also the controversy on the awarding of a 500 billion rand security tender to Fidelity Security Company and who signed off on it. What we have is the start of an emergency declaration on the 4th of July. That emergency declaration and the completion of those necessary uh, um, forms, etc., was 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 was, uh, by, was created by our, our GM security and and signed off by the COO. Chair, okay, that is all that is in the document itself. There is no attached report in terms of the threat assessment. Um, subsequent to the time, in terms of the current investigations, we have asked if there are any um, formal documents or formal communication, and I've not received any. SCOPA says its information gathering will determine if there's a need for a full-scale parliamentary probe. For now, a SCOPA members are expected to take their findings to Parliament to deliberate on their way forward. The draft terms of reference are already there, but we of course need to satisfy ourselves as to whether it would be worthwhile to pursue these issues or we'll get the answers now. That's point number one. The second point is that uh, there's a new board um, at ESCOM and one must say up front we've got a full appreciation that it's been thrown into the deep end in the midst of crisis. Members of SCOPA are satisfied with their leg of their ESCOM megawatt oversight visit but convinced that there's still more to uncover. All of the efforts will lead to a decision by members of parliament if a committee should be set up to further probe the allegations at the power utility. They want the independent intelligence report scrutinized and its content put to the test also by law enforcement authorities. Katla Rolorodi, SABC News, Megawatt Park in Sunning Hill.